a taste of goodness okay guys welcome and welcome back to my channel this is vanel cooks and today i'm sharing the recipe for this amazingly delicious oatmeal banku now this recipe is so simple very easy to make and super super quick so if this sounds like something you're interested in please leave a neat post so we can get to it have you done it good let's get right to it y'all Alrighty, so before we get started with the cooking action let's talk about our oats and the various textures they come in okay yeah so here i have some old-fashioned whole grain rolled oats which looks like this and i also have some quaker oats which kind of looks broken down a bit and that is what we traditionally use for our oats porridge this is what that also looks like now you can use any of these two for the recipe okay however i personally would prefer to use the whole grain rolled oats for this recipe also i would recommend that if you are using the quaker oats or the broken down ones that i showed earlier you can add a little bit of coconut flour or any other gluten-free flour just to get rid of a little bit of the sliminess in the oats if you have instant oats like this one but without sweetness like honey and raisins they can also be used as well okay let's get started so for our first method we'll start by making some oat flour and with that we'll measure out our oatmeal into our dry blender or really any blender that's available okay then go ahead and blend this until it is very nice and smooth And just like that, we have a beautiful, beautiful oat flour that we can use in any recipe that calls for it. Don't say I didn't put you on to nothing, okay? <laughs> the smoothness of your oat flour is countermount to the consistency of your swallow or your oat bankun, okay? So please note that. So here I'm pouring some hot boiling water into my cooking pot and then I'll gradually add my oats flour while stirring to prevent it from cooking and forming lumps. Because as we already know, so long as your lumps aren't cooked, you can always break it up easily when you're cooking, okay? So now go ahead and keep stirring this up until it thickens up beautifully. just like so look at how thick it has become yep we'll now go ahead and season with some salt to taste and continue stirring for just about seven to eight minutes on medium heat all right y'all now as we all know oatmeal is packed with a lot of fiber and is also gluten free which makes this oat swallow or oat banku a much much healthier alternative to our traditional cornmeal banku which we all love so much now after about seven to eight minutes you want to go ahead and add about two to three tablespoons of water loosen it up with your spatula to allow the steam to go through it beautifully because this is what is going to really cook your swallow okay cover it up and leave to simmer on medium low heat for about eight to ten minutes then you want to come back and continue stirring this up again for an additional seven to eight minutes and you should be good okay also you'll notice a slight change in color from when you started and that is also an indication that if not done your swallow is almost done okay now this is the texture after you are done it looks so beautiful you guys so just like the traditional banku you would wrap this in your plastic wrap overall this takes a little over half the time you'd use in making a traditional cornmeal swallow or banku so if your cornmeal banku usually takes about 40 minutes to cook well then this will take about 25 to 30 minutes of course this is also dependent on the quantity as well okay so once you get that on there and converge all the sides into one point you want to go ahead and press them all together beautifully just like so and then swell okay just swirl away and ta-da 
go ahead and set this aside for storage and or enjoyment later now to our second method here i'm just measuring up my oatmeal once again into my blender now you want to measure because you need equal parts oatmeal and water which means for every one cup oatmeal you use you need one cup of water okay So go ahead and blend this until a nice smooth puree is formed just like so just look at the consistency it is perfect now to a heated pan we'll go ahead and add our puree rinse out our blender with just a tad bit of water and add that to it as well and begin to stir it up beautifully until it starts to thicken up and don't forget to season with some salt okay and like i mentioned before don't worry too much about the lumps because so long as you keep stirring it's not getting cooked fully which means it will break apart and smoothen up beautifully once you start pressing it against the side of your pot okay so if you are using a non-stick pan you may see the sides coming off like this when it begins to dry out okay but don't panic just get them out or simply make sure to not mix it with what's in the pan okay so as to not create lumps in your swallow nobody likes that <laughs> Now, I personally like to chew on mine because it tastes good. Okay, you can try it. All right. So from here, you basically repeat the same process as you did the first method. Only that this time, you can choose to not add any more water to it. But I did because I like mine soft, just like cornmeal banku. And also because, you know, it tends to harden up a bit after sitting for a while. But you can totally omit the water if you don't like it. Okay all right y'all so this is the texture for the second method also very beautiful so these are the two methods side by side not much of a difference except that it is slightly lighter in terms of color than the first method okay now you want to go ahead and enjoy the swallow with whatever soup stew or sauce you would typically enjoy your traditional banku with Thank you so much for cooking with me today. I really do hope you enjoyed yourself because I sure did enjoy the cooking myself. Until I see you next time. Bye.